Hi there, Taurians. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at 2016 and what the year has in store for you. And the last year was really a banner year for you, especially after September 10, when Jupiter, the largest planet in the zodiac, moved into Virgo, your fellow Earth sign, a perfect match in your fifth house of romance, creativity, and self fulfillment. And it was in line and in a nice aspect with Pluto, and that is in Capricorn. So Capricorns were also a very good match for you. Now, looking ahead, this remains through September of 2016. Jupiter remains in Virgo. Many of you had your relationships a little tested. If it wasn't romantic enough, if it wasn't fulfilling enough last year, you realize that you were missing out and the holidays have probably been a rather stressful time. As we move into 2016, it's going to be a good idea for you to sit down and write down the pros and cons of your relationship, marriage, partnership. Do you come up with more pros or more cons? Is it equal? Do you feel like your guy or your girl and you have an, a nice intimate thing going or do you feel as if there's something lacking, especially when you're out and about with other couples, which is really when you can tell if some, you know, if another couple is touchy-feely after many years together and, you know, really look out for each other and you, you're, you and your partner don't, you'll know that it's time to amp up the romance. Now Uranus, the planet of the unexpected and unexpected surprises, has been in your secrecy and privacy zone for many years. Though spirit, spirituality has become very important in many of your lives. In many cases, you are opting for a more spiritual career, maybe in a non-profit organization or on, you know, part-time you're working in a more spiritual atmosphere such as a yoga studio or a gym where they teach yoga or meditation Maybe you're going to breathing classes. That's actually something that would be really good for you. Others are making it a priority in their lives in 2016. Pluto, the planet of you know, change and reformation and in many ways death and rebirth, has been in your ninth house of spirituality for many years. This shows a death and rebirth of your philosophical and your religious beliefs. Many are dying and many are being reborn in a new form. The belief system is an ultra important part of life, too often ignored by the psychological community, but it influences every area of life. Change here, change the life. Jupiter spends most of the year in Virgo, your fifth house. This makes Taurians of childbearing age, much more fertile than usual. So if that's something you're excited to hear, great. If it's something that you're not ready for or not particularly thrilled to hear, take extra precaution about that. This aspect also tends to involvement with children in general, your own or other people's. Now, Jupiter moves into your sixth house of hard work, service to others, health and well-being, September 10, into Libra. Now, that's of course, is the sign that you share Venus with. So it is like the air version of yourself. This makes, this is an excellent aspect for those of you looking for a new job, to use those opportunities that you have, networking, d digging through your bag or digging through your drawers and looking for those business cards that maybe you collected before or you went to a reunion and someone said, look, if you're ever looking to jump ship, give me a call. It's amazing how, you know, what, what starts off as just a mere um, exchange of business cards at a social or business event can lead to something. Because if you've already established a connection and if there is some sort of job or position available, and you just happen to send an email at the right time, you could be, you know, really starting off a new chapter. Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, moved out of Scorpio, your relationship zone, and into your, into your eighth house of joint resources and intimacy. This needs to, this, this suggests a need to tone down the sexual expression 
especially for those of you who are single. Maybe you are not putting the right vibe out there to attract the right person. You're having a lot of fun. But if you do want to be in a relationship, you need to maybe set some ground rules and not be, um, how shall I say, as eager, not have hot pants, as my grandmother would, would have said. Oh, she's got hot pants. Um, and for you guys, it's a bit different to tell you that, but um, you get the drift. Just be a bit more discerning. It's quality over quantity this year. Have a wonderful year. Thanks so much for tuning in. And make sure you tune in for my weekly forecasts. And I, I wish you all the best. Be kind to yourself.